You get your key and you push your key in and that starts up the car. Hi guys, what's up? It's Supercar Blondie here back in Dubai. I have got something super special to show you right here. This is the most expensive sedan ever made. You might have been thinking, oh, it's definitely a Rolls Royce, like a Phantom or something like that. It is not. The price of this car when it came out between 2014 and 2016 was $1 million. $1 million for a sedan, you guys. Just to put that into perspective, you could actually buy two top of the range, like fully specced out Rolls Royce Phantoms or the Lagonda Tarif. is based on an Aston Martin DB9 and a Rapide. The Taraf actually means in Arabic, ultimate luxury. They build 120 of these models for the Middle East region and they hand selected sheikhs, that's royalty. You've got very, very exclusive Aston Martin preferred clients getting on that list. We're here at Tamini Classics in Dubai. That's where you're gonna see this beauty in this showroom here. Now come look at these guys. This here is not an Aston Martin badge. This is actually a Lagonda badge. Now Lagonda is owned by Aston Martin. Lagonda is actually their most luxury brand. Aston Martin acquired Lagonda over 70 years ago. This one here, the Lagonda Taraf, was actually made to celebrate 100 years of Aston Martin. So when you see this badge right here, you know, oh, this is the premium Aston Martin, like even more premium than Aston Martin. One of the reasons why this was worth $1 million is because they only made 120 of this model. Now, if you just look at the size of it, this is really a major part of its design. I mean, it is massive. It is super long and it gives it this very sleek, stylish look. I mean, even just from here to the back, just look how long that is all the way around the back here. I actually really like the back. This is beautiful. See these lights here, I see this now in, for example, the Bugatti Devo, how they individually come out like that. I really think this is beautiful. And just to consider guys, this actually came out, the concept of this car came out 11 years ago. And then six years ago, we saw this exact design on the roads. And I think this is really very beautiful and is still very timely even six years on. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, that pops up and you get your own Lagonda branded umbrella, which is really nice, super beautiful quality, but doesn't make a whole lot of sense seeing as this car was made for the Middle East and it hasn't rained here in months. Come around the front, let's check out what it looks like. If this were behind you on the street, this is what you would see. So you've got these beautiful lights here and I love this massive grill. I always say this about Aston Martins, but the bigger the grill, the more it looks like a whale shark in my mind. It just looks so aggressive and so cool. I really, really like this grill. It's so big and it's so beautifully integrated into the lights here. It's just one panel. Now what I would be disappointed by is the fact that this car now is not worth nearly that much. Now, this one here, at Tamini Classics is going for about $590,000. And guys, this has a six liter V12 engine and it pumps out about 530 horsepower. So that is what's under the hood. You've got the beautiful Lagonda sign here on the wheels. This here is very cool. You see these lights integrated in the silver panel? This is actually the indicator light. So instead of having the indicator light here, for example, that's where you see it a lot now, They've integrated it here on the side, which I think is a really nice feature. Here in the middle, they've actually got another panel of glass running down here. And that is just so that they wouldn't have had to put metal or plastic in between these two windows. So they wanted to try and make it more sleek with that panel there. Um, sure, why not? <laughs> I mean, yeah. 
Oops, okay. All right, now, key time. Look, I've got a little pouch. Love a little pouch. Draw that out, and we have the beautiful, not Aston Martin logo, but Lagonda logo. Push in, window comes down. If you release it, window goes back up. You could play around with that for days, couldn't you? All right, open her up. And look, this door is actually like a miniature butterfly door. Do you see that? It's actually called like a swan hinge. So it comes up just slightly. And you see that on all Aston Martins, this slight incline here. And that's so you don't ruin the door if there's a kind of a high ledge next to you. Now guys, you are seeing the interior for the very first time of the most expensive sedan in the world. First thing that I notice is this beautiful stitching. I have to say I am in love with this stitching. This is beautiful. And look at all the leather. Look, you've got Alcantara here on the roof and this is all hand stitched as well. Everywhere you look, you see leather. And that is something that I love generally about Aston Martins, but also of course with Lagondas, they take that one notch up from that. This is where the driver sits, but it's actually like a chauffeur driven car, right? So we'll close that up and show you the back seats. All right. Here it is, the back seats of the most expensive sedan in the world. Come around, come around. A couple of features they've thought about here. The first thing is this. You see here the roof is lower at the front and then it goes up in the back and that's to provide more headroom for the passengers, which is quite a nice little feature. You've got a fridge here. So you can open that up like that and you can fit in two full size bottles. Close that. This is just your standard armrest, but look what happens when you push it up like this. It is actually weighted. And it just tucks in very quietly and very smoothly. So if you do the same on the way down, just pull that and then it'll go all the rest of the way down very quietly and very smoothly to rest there in the middle of you, which is really nice. Now, you might have noticed these babies. These are old iPads. Because this is an older car, it actually came with these little clip-on parts right here in the back of the seat. So you could clip in new iPads if you wanted to, I'm sure. But of course, this has been owned for a couple of years now, and so they've got the old iPads. Even though this was made for the Middle East region, they did end End up selling this car in other regions except for America. You can only get this car specially registered in America as a show car. Look at this guys. Never seen this before in a car. It's actually got magnets there to pull it towards the panel. What is it for? You grab this and you pull yourself out with it. It actually really helps. It really does. Now I'm getting on in age, you know? I want that in every car. How about in my McLaren? Just like, oh, I really like this. <laughs> oh, I like it. You don't have to use your thighs at all. Oh, killer. Absolute killer getting out of some of these cars. You actually have to work out your thighs. I like it because you don't have to work out at all. Here is your center console for the back passengers. And there are just a very few buttons here. These are to control the lights. You've got your air vents here and you can turn the AC on. <laughs> this car is so lacking in like updated technology. This is the only fun you can have in the back seat. Wow. Imagine your kids back here just playing with that all the time. Oh, how annoying. What's interesting also is that it doesn't have soft door close. So. However, what is very cool about the doors is this. Look, if you're parked next to a car, usually you would have to find the place that the door holds and it's usually about there or there. And they're your two options. You either try and get out like this <laughs> or like this. But with this door, it has special hydraulics in the door so that at whatever point you want to hold the door, it holds itself, which is a really nice feature. Although once you get to about this point, it doesn't hold anymore. This is your key that we saw earlier. Here is your engine start, but it's not a button. Look, this kind of goes in, but it doesn't start anything. 
So what you have to do is you get your key and you push your key in and that starts up the car and I love that feature for two reasons. It looks cool and now I know exactly where my car key is. Look at this. 2014. An ashtray. I would definitely not want to be smoking in this car. It's too expensive. Too expensive. Look at this tiny little screen here. <laughs> Look, I have to say back in 2014, this would have looked pretty nice pretty up to date but in 2020 I mean look it kind of looks a little bit old school now which you know happens look at this here the rev meter goes backwards so usually it would go up here and it's going backwards then you've got your steering wheel here it's quite a basic steering wheel. I don't have really much more to say about it. I mean, steering wheels today have a lot of like gadgets and cool stuff going on. This is classic. That's fine. We'll move on. I'm just trying to look, I'm trying to count up the dollars that I've spent on this car. A million bucks. Where is it? Where's my million bucks? And all I can really see is just the luxurious interior. It is beautiful. I have to say it's beautiful and it is rare and you will never see this car on the road. But when you start her up, turn this on and your speakers come out. So that's quite a nice little touch. Eight speed, eight speed auto. And this is not the drive I was expecting. I was expecting something more like the old Vantage, which I really dislike <laughs> the drive. It's a very like, <laughs> this is how it feels when you drive the Vantage. This is super smooth. This is a beautiful drive, you guys. got a sports box so I'm gonna test that out of course there we go there we oh here we go oh you feel the difference immediately oh that's cool look it's not the fastest off the mark it's not bad 4.4 seconds 0 to 100 yeah 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 I quite like that that's nice Massive thank you to Tamini Classics, and we've actually got the head of Tamini Classics here in the back seat, Miguel. I'm the luckiest man in the world right now. <laughs> Being chauffeured. How's it feel there in the back? Is it nice? It's quite amazing. Really yeah. smooth. Really smooth, right? Yeah. I really like it. It just glides. It does. It's one of the smoothest cars I've driven. Yeah. I have to be honest with you, this is beautiful. It doesn't feel like a, like a boat anchor. It feels really light it's for, for its size. All right, thanks guys. I hope you enjoyed the vid. Checking out the most expensive sedan in the world. What do you think? Put your comments down below. All right, you guys, I love you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next vid. Bye, I'm out.